In this video, we solve problem 6.3.11 from Essentials of Statistics, 6th edition by Mario Triola. The problem statement says the assets and billions of dollars of the four wealthiest people in a particular country are 35, $35 billion, $28 billion, $24 billion, and $15 billion. Assume that samples of size n equals two are randomly selected with replacement from this population of four values. And the values are 35, 28, 24, and 15. Then the first problem says, after identifying the 16 different possible samples and finding the mean of each sample, construct a table representing the sampling distribution of the sample mean. In the table, values of the sample mean that are the same have been combined. So I think I'm going to use Excel for this since there are 16 different combinations. All right. And the values were, I've got them written down over here, 35, 28, 24, and 15. Okay. So the first choice could be 35, um, 28, 24, or 15. Now, if you choose 35 the first time, if you're sampling with replacement, the second time you could choose 35, you could choose 28, you could choose 24, or you could choose 15. Or if you choose 28 the first time, the second time you could choose 35, 28, 24, or 15. And the same is going to be true for all of these. You could, the second time, you, you will either choose 35, 28, 24, or 15. Oops, I wanted just to copy that. And the first time, we could choose 24. And then we could choose 35, 28, 24, or 15. And the same thing for here. We could choose 15 for the first time. And so those are our 16 different outcomes. It looks like we've got 17, but it's just because that top row um, contains those four values. So that was our sample. It had four values. And um, this is what we have for our first choice, and this is what we have for our second choice. So um, these two values on this row um, form that sample. Now, if I want the sample mean, all I want is the average of these two. You can just add them together and divide by two. So I'll um, type equals, open parentheses, this plus this divided by two. You could also just use the average function in Excel. It will give you the right value. And so we'll do that for all 16 of these guys. Okay, if I zoom out a little bit, it'll be a little easier to see what the possible sample means are. It looks like the minimum sample mean is 15. So my sample means will have a probability distribution that looks like this. 15 is the smallest. And then let's see what's next on the list. After 15, I've got some 19.5s. At 19.5 there, there's one and there's one. Actually, and let's write the probability over here. And the probability for this 15 is one in 16, because one, oops, I don't want a date, I want a number. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. I really wanted the fraction 1 16th. I don't know why it's giving me something. One over 16, there we go. Something messed up about Excel right now for some reason. It's not even letting me type one out of 16. Uh, very strange. Huh. Okay, maybe I'll go back to number. There we go, one out of 16. Very odd. Okay, and then we've got two out of 16 here. 
And again, it's just automatically giving me a date. I want all of these to be numbers. Say the entire column is numbers. Very strange. So I want two out of 16, which is 1 8. And then the next uh, possible sample mean, next one up is this 21.5. And it looks like we had one there and one there. So it's two of those. So two out of 16 again. I'll change the number of decimal places in a little bit. Okay, then the next one up seems to be 24. There's only one way that happens. That's one in 16. Okay, and then you've got 25. There's one of those and one of those. So two in 16. And then we've got 26 and 26. There are two of those. So two in 16. And then we've got two 29.5s. Oh, 28 is first. There's only one of those, one in 16. And then we had uh, two uh, 29.5s. So two and 16. And then you've got two 31.5s. And that's two in 16, and then you've got 135. Okay, now I want all these to have the same number of decimal places, so let's do that. Okay, if we add up all these probabilities, we should get one if I've done everything correctly. Okay, and I do have one. So this is our sample, um, the sampling distribution for those sample means. Now let's look at that or type that in over here. Oh, they've listed them, them differently. We had a one in um, 16 ch chance for that one, two and 16 here, two and 16 here, um, one in 16. And for 26, we had two and 16. Well, I guess we could simplify these fractions. The two and 16 should be one eighths. The 28 is one out of 16, it's not a one. 25 was two and 16 or one eighth. 24 was one and 16. 25 or 21.5 was two and 16 or one eighth. 19.5 was one and or two and 16, which is one eighth. And there's only one way to get 15. Okay, great. And then it says, compare the mean of the population to the mean of the sampling distribution of the sample mean. Well, in order to find those, I will use Excel again. So to find the mean of the sampling distribution, we're gonna take each of these sample means and multiply by the corresponding probability. So I'll do that times the probability I've got there. Then I'll drag and drop. And then I wanna add those up that is the definition of the mean for some variable when you have its probability distribution. So it looks like the mean is 25.5. Let's calculate the average or mean oops, of the values themselves. We had 35 as one value, 28 as another one, 24 as the third, and 15 as the fourth. If you average those, you get 25.5, so those are the same. Okay, so the population mean was 25.5. That is equal to the mean of the sample means, which is what we would expect. I typed it incorrectly. 25.5. And then the last question says, do the sample means target the value of the population mean? 
in general to sample means make good estimates of population means why or might not and we'll say yes the sample means do target the population mean in general sample means do that they um, target population means so those make good estimates of population means um, because the mean is a um, unbiased estimator that sample mean is an unbiased estimator of the population mean.